Hello and welcome to the Crokinole Accelerate 2023, where eight of the top-ranked National Crokinole Association players meet for a day of Crokinole. Today we have a St. Jacobs styled doubles Crokinole match between Jason Beerling, ranked ninth in the NCA, and Connor Reinman, ranked first in the NCA, versus Reed Tracy, ranked. 13th in the NCA and Ray Beerling ranked fourth in the NCA. Reed to shoot first, leaving his disc just within the valid shot region. Connor hits, getting the off. Ray to go across the board, get the off, and stick his disc right where the opponent's was. Jason to perhaps work to the inside. Getting the off and staying just within the 15. Just enough, just enough, just enough. Reed losing a disc. Not able to keep a hold of his buttons. Now going for the shot. Getting the off and rolling to the far side of the board from Connor. Connor trying to go off the pags perhaps, but just misses a 20, leaving the door open for Ray. Ray hits and converts the 20. Jason lining up for the open. And converts. Reed now, perhaps with a very thin angle in. Ops to stick in the 15. Connor again, <laughs> leaving the door open for Ray to get a 20. Ray again, converting. Jason again with the open 20. I feel like I'm getting deja vu. Reed lining up, probably again for the hit and stick, which he does. I wasn't going for it on any of the previous ones. Some chuckling amongst the board as Reinman gets a 20, putting his team in the lead of the 20s cup. Ray, evening a yet. Jason, short of the 20. It's a touch or what do you think? Reed talking about a touch 20 being there, which he converts, demoting Jason's disc to the 10. Reinman takes the opportunity to get the open 20. Ray seemingly going for perhaps a circus 20, just misses the post going to the far side of the pegs from himself. Jason now, happy to play on the outside, but maybe giving Reed an opportunity to come in. And he just misses a 20 and leaves the door open for Reinman. Reinman not quite able to convert, but leaving his disc on the right side of the hole from Ray, leaving him a harder shot. Ray hits and rolls away to the far side of the pegs from Jason, and Jason hits in six, ending the round giving Jason and Reinman the win. A few nice classic 20s from the two of them. Reinman to open up, not quite able to convert the 20, but again, his disc on the right side of the hole for Ray to not have an easy opening into the 20. Ray hits and follows through. Right through near to the other side of the pegs from himself. Jason. Not quite getting the off, but leaving his disc awfully close to the post. Maybe giving Reed an opportunity in if he goes through his own disc to ricochet off the red. Doesn't sound like that's what they're going for. Is there some table talk? Doesn't get the off or into the 15. Some talk of whether Reinman should go for the double or not. At this point, they're probably happy to stay on the outside, especially if it's on the far side of the board away from Ray. 
Reinman getting the off and might be tucked awkwardly behind that post. But Ray has different options that he can go for. Rolling all the way over to the other side from the board. Jason left with a few options now. Needing to find a way to hit that one black disc without hitting his own off. Ops for the other in the five, rolling his own up into the 10 region. Also keeping his other disc in the 10 region. Reed perhaps rolling in a little bit close, but close enough to that peg that it's certainly not an easy shot for Reinman to get in. At least come in a little bit. Oh. Reinman cutting through the 15, rolling to the other side of the pegs. A little bit more powerful than he intended, and maybe opening up the door for Ray. Who keeps it on the outside, but gets the opponent's disc off. Jason now carving into the 15. This round so far has been a very strategic round. With neither team with any 20s right now. Reed. Lasting through, getting one off, but not both. Leaving one on the line between the 15 and the 10. But keeping his disc in the 15 region. There is definitely a double. Or if you like getting a 20 off that, Jason and Ryman maybe talking about a circus shot here seems like step one of their shot went to plan right here taking a minute to plan enough so that the cameraman skipped it <laughs> gets the off and gets his into the 15 but maybe giving Jason an opportunity for a 20. Oh, no. Not quite able to convert and now leaving the door open for Reed. Going up the line and gets the 20. Big game changer this late in the round, being the first 20. Reinman also leaving his disc kind of close to the 20, maybe giving Ray an in now. Ray just misses it. And maybe a tight but very possible angle for Jason. Waxing his disc with care as he goes for this 20. And just misses it. Dips in the hole and back out. Leaving Reed a difficult but doable hanger 20. Looks like he's lining up for the double and the 20 right now. Some debate whether they actually need that double in the 20. Trying to figure out if the highlight is worth it, if it might risk them the round. Goes for the 20, unable to convert, but getting the off and keeping his disc in the 15. Ryman now. Pouncing between the pegs, getting the off and keeping his in the 15. Now Ray. Getting the off and keeping his in the 15. Jason now maybe hoping to get a 20 off the posted disc. Not quite, and he doesn't get the off either, but keeping his disc in the 15 region. Reed with the easy off, and that wins him this very strategic second round. That 120 from Reed, which was definitely the game changer. Ray opening up this round with a 20. Now with an open board, unlike the last round. Teams are able to shoot, and Reed leaving it short of the 20, opening the door for Reinman, who goes and just misses. Giving Ray an opportunity to come up the side for potentially a 20, definitely the off. And guess neither, I was wrong. Sorry folks, I was mistaken. Jason now with an easy off. 
Looks like he peeled his disc up into the 15, if just. Reed now having some debate, probably whether to keep it on the outside and give Reinman a more difficult shot, or to come into the 15. Both teams tied in the 20 cup, with Reinman and Jason having hammer, so probably not wanting to stay on the outside on Reed's part, gets the touch 20. Very nice. Leaving an open 20 for Connor though, who just overshoots as it dips in and out of the hole. Maybe opening the door for Ray to score a 20 here for his team, which he does also getting the off, getting their 20 cup up to three 20s. Open 20, Jason just a little bit short. Reed now going for a double on the outside, getting one of the discs off and also leaving his disc Far back in the five region. Connor hitting and peeling his own disc. Ray and Reed now probably happy to keep play on the outside, given that they are far up in 20s. It'll be on Jason and Reinman to bring play back to the middle. Jason potentially seeing a way in. Gets he off and carves his disc up into the 15 region up where they want play right now. Read again. Seeing which of the disc is easiest, he opts for the further one. Gets he off, but his disc might just be hanging into the 15. Potentially down in the 10, but right now, given they're up 220s, that is not the worst thing in the world. Reinman with the off and almost bouncing back to the 20. This also leaves Ray with a difficult situation. Not an easy 20 for him if he tries to follow through and may just opt to get the off on the other disc, which he does and rolls out into the 10 on the far side of the pegs from Jason now. He could just feel it. Might be debating a 20 here with only a few bullets left for each team. Could be wise to try to even out the 20s cup. <laughs> the other team <laughs> going for a drinks break <laughs> as Reinman and Jaceman. Uh, debate how to handle this situation. Jason takes away the 20 opportunity for Reed, removing their own disc, but also almost hitting off the other. A very smart play to make sure Reed and Ray don't get any more ahead than they already are. Keeping Reinman and Jason in this game. Probably going for an angle in 20 now. Not quite there, but keeping his disc in the 15. Ray eyeing up the situation, going to play on the outside. Again, putting the onus on Jason and Reinman to bring play back to the middle. Or, or he's going to go for that center. Oh, and just misses a 20. His disc bouncing out of the hole. Jason now. Almost with the double. Since this round is pretty much over now, Reed trying to have some fun. Gets the off and peels his disc into the 15. And that seals the third round for Reed and Ray, bringing the score to 4 2. Jason just short of the 20, hanging over the hole a little bit. Reed to convert for a 20 for himself and Ray. Ryman overshooting a little bit, not leaving an easy 20 for Ray. Not quite there and also leaving the door open for Jason to get a 20 of his own. Not quite just dips out of the 20 yet again. Leaving a heavy hanger for Reed, which he is unable to convert. Reinman now, with two opponent discs on the closer side to him, inside of the pegs. 
He gets one off, trying to follow through, leaving his disc on the right side of the hole from Ray. With them up a 20 and being hammer, they might opt to the outside, which is exactly what Ray does. Jason now to bring play back to the middle with a near miss on that angle in 20. Reed now getting the off. His disc not quite staying in the 15 region, landing on the line. Reinman potentially lining up a double here, or maybe a follow through. Going for the double, touches that second disc, but doesn't get the off. Gets one of the discs off, though, leaving his on the line between the 15 and the 10. Ray to get the off and bounce around the pegs. Jason with an easy off. Sorry for the pause there. I lost connection to the computer, but we are back. Reed with the easy off. This might have been key shot though. Ray misses the open 20. Not quite there. Jason again with a beautiful angle in 20. Tying the 20 cup, Reed also converts the open. Connor not quite getting the 20 and perhaps opening the door for Ray. Who converts getting a 20, giving Reed and Ray a substantial lead in the 20 cup. Jason to convert a open 20 of his own. Reed getting the off, happy to stay on the outside. Inconsequential, but Ray hits that final disc behind the pegs, bringing the score to 6 2 for Reed and Ray. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Crokinole Accelerate. Stay tuned for more and let us know what you would like to see. As always, happy flicking.